Today we're here in celebration of the life of J. Depp Markham. And while, while this is a great loss to the family, and indeed it is a loss, it's hard to say goodbyes, we need to also look to the victories in his life. J. enjoyed a lot of victories. If you think about it, if you look at his life, what a long, fulfilling life that he lived. That's a blessing to have lived such a long life. It was a victory when Jay received Jesus as his Lord and Savior. I mean, that was, that's a tremendous victory. He enjoyed many victories in his lifetime here on this earth. In Psalm 33, verses 18 through 22, Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy, to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. Our soul waiteth for the Lord, and he is our help and our shield. For our heart shall rejoice in him, because we have trusted in his holy name. Let thou be mercy, O Lord, be upon us, according as we hope in thee. Let us pray. Father God, we uh, conqueror of life and death. Father, we just ask you to hear our prayers this morning. You know already how the, the family has gone down a dark valley, and they'll have to walk this valley in the months and years ahead. Father, we just ask you to comfort those who sorrow, heal those who are hurting, and remind each of us today of your everlasting love. May we hold on to the dear memories of Jay, but more importantly, we hold on to your promise of everlasting life to those who believe. Father God, we thank you for the hope that you've given us. And Father God, let, let this family know that there are many who love them and praying for them, but more importantly, Father, let them know that you have them in the palm of your hand that they would know your name and know your voice. Hold them close, Father. Father God, we come to you today for healing. We come for you strength. We thank you for loving us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Jay was a Presbyterian minister in New York, and he last worked as a buyer for Bolivar. He was 79 years old. He was very dedicated and had a deep faith in God. He was an elder in his church, he was the son of Virginia Clater, of which both were from Ruther Glen, Virginia. He graduated from Bob Jones University in Greenville, South Carolina, and then he went out to preach. He also had a freelance photographer job that took pictures of celebrities and other people before they were famous. One of those were being Matt LeBlanc that was from the Friends show. He took a lot of photos and enjoyed doing that line of work. Jay was a very kind man, helping anyone that needed it. He loved to travel, and he photographed different parts of the world. He lived in L.A. for five years and worked as a merchandiser, and frequently traveled to Hawaii, where he took pictures of and sent them to family members. When Dot, his sister, moved to Columbia, he would bring their mother and Charles down to visit for Christmas. He is survived by his sister, Dot Smith of South Carolina, and Charles Clater of Ruther Glen, Virginia. He was very much loved and will be extremely missed. You know, as a preacher, J. Markham would have certainly wanted God's word lifted up today. And here we are today, we are lifting up God's precious holy name. We also honor a precious soul, J. Markham. In Proverbs 3, verses 5 through 6, the Bible says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not into thine own understanding. In all their ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct their paths. You know, when a loved one dies, a lot of times the outside world says, Hey, love is lost. We've lost something. But the Bible says love is eternal. Saying goodbye to someone you love is a tough ordeal. Don't get me wrong. But it's times like these, when we lose a love, when we turn to God's word for comfort. We do so because that is the only place one will ever find true comfort, true peace. In 2 Corinthians 5, verse 8, We are confident, I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body than to be present with the Lord. The Apostle Paul tells us that, that when we die when we take our last breath on this earth the very next breath we're going to be in the presence of the lord god almighty and that's going to be a peaceful time there are some who say that when you leave this world 
that their soul will just go to some kind of la la world where we'll all remain in sleep. Well, that's a lie. God's word tells us something very different. God's word says that at the time of death, in a blink of an eye, the soul of the believer will be in the very presence of God Almighty. In Luke 23, verse 43, and Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today thou shalt be with me in paradise. Jesus was telling the thief on the cross, he was looking over to the thief right next to him on the cross and saying, Because of your faith, you will be in the presence of God along with me. You will be in paradise. How did that happen? Only the pure in heart will be in the presence of God. Well, how do you get a pure heart? You start by asking Jesus and to be in your heart to live in your soul. You make Jesus your Lord and Savior. Now, does this not mean that, this doesn't mean you're gonna to to be perfect in your lifetime, because nobody is. There's no one perfect. We gain that perfection, that pure heart, when we seek God. The first step in seeking God is asking Jesus into your life. This is what Jay did. And this is how Jay gained that opportunity. This was his opportunity to have everlasting life. Jay is in the presence of God Almighty right now because of his faith in Jesus Christ. When one comes into the presence of God, then at that instant all of our pains, all of our suffering, all of our sorrows will be forgotten, wiped away. At that time you will be immersed in God's glorious light and you will know pain no more. You will know nothing but peace and joy. You know, as a child, oftentimes I'd be fearful at bedtime at nighttime. Now it didn't help that my older, older brother and older sister would always tell me that the boogeyman would come and take small kids out of their beds at night. That didn't help at all. I was fearful of the nighttime. But you know when that morning sun came and when those beautiful shafts of sunlight came through that window, all of a sudden that fear no longer remained in my soul. I was happy. I no longer remembered those stories of the boogeyman. The sunlight has chased away all my fears. All the darkness was gone. Everything was new. Everything was fresh. It was a happy time. And so it is when you get in the presence of God Almighty, when the believer is received in heaven, when they come before God, when, uh, when they are finally in the presence of God Almighty, then at that instant, all their fears, all their sorrows, all their troubles, all of a sudden is gone away, chased away forever and ever when we come into that beautiful presence of God in the blink of an eye. There's no waiting line, there's no baggage check-in, it is immediate, immediate peace. When we take our last breath on this earth, the very next breath as a believer will be in the presence of God Almighty. Jay has this great peace right now. Jay Markham is in the presence of God. He's at home. Let's pray. Father God, I just ask you to be in the family. As they say their final goodbyes to someone they love so much. Father God, we just ask you to help us in our time of need. Remind us, Father, that we're going to stand on your promises of eternal life. The same promise that J. Markham stood on. The same faith that J. Markham had, we're going to trust in now. As we now commit J. Markham to this ground, standing on your promises forevermore. In Jesus' name we pray. That concludes the service today and, and 